The Mambila Hydro Dam is a huge, huge scam. It's a scandal and we should all be ashamed as a people in this country and bury our heads in shame that for over 40 years we have been talking about Mambila Hydro. Did you know that when completed, the Mambila Hydro Power Plant will become Nigeria's largest power plant, producing approximately 4.7 billion kilowatt hour of electricity per year. In this video, I will take you through everything you need to know about this mega project. I will take you through the following project location, project specification, project cost, how the power plant compares to Nigeria's existing large power stations, and I will cover a lot more information about this Colosa project. With all the potentials of this project, why hasn't it kicked off yet? Quickly, before I discuss some of the reasons why this project hasn't started, let's go through its details. The Mambila Hydropower Project is sited in Taraba State, Nigeria, a region known for its abundant water resources. The project itself is located near Kakara village, nestled along the Donga River. This strategic placement allows the hydropower plant to analyze the power of the flowing water to generate electricity. While Kakara village is the immediate location, the nearest major town Wukari is a significant distance away at roughly 413 kilometers. The Mambila Hydropower Project is a multifaceted endeavor designed to be a game changer for Nigeria's electricity sector. With a targeted capacity of 3050 megawatts, it will become the country's undisputed champion of power generation. The project scope is ambitious, encompassing the construction of four dams along the Donga River. These dams, named Nia, Sunsun, Ngu, and Apiwere, we work in tandem to channel water towards two underground powerhouses. Each powerhouse will be equipped with a dozen turbine generator units working tirelessly to convert water flow into usable electricity. This grand project is expected to produce a significant amount of clean energy, generating an estimated 4.7 billion kilowatt hours annually. In comparison to other power plants in Nigeria, the Mambila Hydropower Project stands out for its significant scale and potential impact on the country's energy landscape. With a planned installed capacity of 3,050 megawatts, the Mambila project dwarfs existing operational power plants like the Egbintama Power Station, which currently holds the title of the largest operational power plant in Nigeria with an installed capacity of 1,320 megawatts. Other major thermal power projects under development, such as the 2,400 megawatt Itobe Coal Power Project and the 1,900 megawatt Egbe Power Station expansion, highlight Nigeria's diverse energy portfolio with a mix of hydroelectric and thermal power contributing to the country's efforts to address its energy needs and meet growing demand. The Mambila Hydropower Project has involved several contractors and consortiums due to its scale and complexity. China Gezoba Group Corporation is one of the primary contractors responsible for the construction of the main dam and powerhouses. The Mambila Hydropower Project, being one of Nigeria's most ambitious infrastructure undertakings, comes with a substantial cost. The estimated cost of the project has varied over time due to factors such as inflation, changes in scope, and project delays. Initial estimates put the cost at around $5.8 billion, but subsequent revisions have suggested figures upwards of $6.5 billion or more. The Mambila Hydropower Project in Nigeria promises to bring a multitude of benefits to both the country and its citizens. Upon completion, the Hydropower Project will significantly boost Nigeria's electricity generation capacity, reducing reliance on fossil fuels. As a hydropower project, Mambila will annex the natural flow of water to generate electricity, aligning with Nigeria's commitment to reducing carbon emissions. The project is expected to stimulate economic growth by creating jobs and facilitating industrial development. Additionally, it will extend electricity access to remote rural communities improving living standards and empowering residents. Furthermore, the project will provide opportunities for water management, contributing to food security, climate change mitigation, and sustainable development in the region. 
Millions of Naira has consistently been allocated for this project in the budget, yet it hasn't taken off. In 2024, however, the new government under President Bola Ahmed Tinubu decided to exclude this project from the 2024 budget. The Minister of Power has stated that the exclusion of this Mambila Hydro Power project from the 2024 budget is deliberate based on the legal tussle surrounding it. The power minister who made the disclosure when he appeared before a joint committee of the Senate and House of Representatives Committee on Power said the project is in a serious legal tussle. Sunrise Power and Transmission Company Limited on October 10, 2017 dragged the federal government to the International Court of Arbitration administered by the International Chamber of Commerce, Paris, France for breach of contract in relation to a 2003 agreement to construct the 3050 megawatt plant in Mambila on a build, operate and transfer basis for $6 billion. The government, in its defense, insisted that the contract award was irregular and did not pass through due process. The then Minister of Power, Dr. Olu Agunloye, awarded the contract a day after the federal cabinet reportedly told him to step down his request for approval and explore other sources of funds for the project. The current Minister of Power told the committee that he deliberately removed the project from his ministry's 2024 budget. Host communities in the Sadana Local Council of Taraba State had expressed disappointment following the exclusion of the project from the federal budget. Chairman of the host communities, Boboye Kangama, was more disappointed that the country would miss the project's potential to generate 3,050 megawatts of electricity. Despite the absence of funding, Kagama expressed hope that the federal government's decision might be linked to a possible investigation into the funds previously allocated to the project. He insisted perhaps the federal government wants to investigate the substantial amount spent on the multi-billion power project, hence it did not allocate funds for the project in the 2024 budget. I think this project over the years has been used as a way to siphon money from the government post. Perhaps the present government can investigate properly what the money allocated in the budget in the past has been used for. I don't think the present government is not interested in power infrastructure projects. They possibly want to investigate what has been done so far before allocating more funds to it. When it comes to the resources needed for a renewable energy project or any project at like that in Nigeria, <laughs> the resources are definitely there. But the problem is just corruption, you know, and lack of foresight as well. You know, the politician just, you know, using project to siphon money. You know, this project definitely has huge potential to help contribute significantly to Nigeria's energy generation. In 1972, federal government announced its intention to generate a 3.05 gigawatts from the Mambila Hydroelectric Facility on the Donga River in Sardona local government of Taraba State. It remains a project on paper as the road to the site is not more terrible and there is no visible sign of the project being kicked off over 40 years after its conception. <laughs>